Today, we're dropping four new features for Patch App DX users. Let's dive in. The first new feature is called Bypass Processing. It gives you the ability to bypass all your processing in your signal chain with one single click. So the first thing I'm gonna do for this example is recall a routing for my quick strip. Now in the past, if I wanted to bypass my processing, I'd have to right click or use command click to bypass each processing selection in my signal chain. But now with this update, if you wanted to hear your converters without any processing in the signal chain, you can simply just right click on the mute button in the signal path and select bypass processing which you can now see it's bypassed all of the processing in your signal chain. This new feature now allows you to toggle your entire processing chain in and out. You can also bypass processing without right clicking by holding option and clicking the mute button. The second feature is our quick a being feature. Beautifully designed with a new menu, gives you the ability to be able to A, B or even C, D different options by simply just clicking the A, B icon. I'll start by recalling a vocal routing that I have stored. Let's say I want to AB two different preamps for this vocal tracking session. Before, I'd have to drag and drop my preamp selection over an existing active selection and then use the undo redo buttons to AB the different preamps. It was functional, but not really practical. So we had to do better. And better is just what Flock Audio does best. Meet the new AB feature. To access this, simply just right click on any selection that you want to AB and select the AB list. You'll see a new panel pop out. This is where all of your A, B, C, D, etc. selections will be stored. I'll choose another preamp and drag and drop it into my AB list. Now I can close the list and you'll see a new AB icon has appeared. This AB icon indicates that there's AB options on this specific hardware selection. I can simply just toggle through the selections by clicking the AB icon. Or if I had multiple selections and I didn't want to toggle through them in a top to bottom order, I can simply just open the AB list and click on my selections for A being the options. The third feature is autosave. This new feature built into user preferences allows you to choose which way you want your patch app DX to appear upon launch. To access this new option, let's go to Settings and User Preferences. And then at the bottom of the menu, you'll see a new option called Autosave Option. When I click on the drop down menu, there will be three different options Default Blank Grid, Autosave Routing, and Recall Last Routing. Default Blank Grid will behave exactly as the Patch App software always has by having a clean, open blank grid upon each launch. Next, Autosave Routing. This option will actively overwrite and save your recalled routing every two to five seconds in the background and repeatedly update the stored routing with any changes made. And finally, recall last routing. This will launch the Patch App DX software with any routing, whether it was stored or not, with whatever was left in the active routing grid upon closing it. Now let's go through these examples. As we already know how default blank grid works, I'm gonna skip it and start with the auto save routing. I'll recall a routing and make a change to the active routing grid. I won't save or overwrite the routing and proceed to close Patch App DX. Now, when I relaunch Patch App DX, you'll see the change I've made to the stored routing will relaunch with that change in place without me having to save or overwrite it before closing. Next, let's go back into user preferences and choose the other autosave option, recall last routing. I'll populate a routing and proceed to close Patch App DX. Then, when I relaunch it, you'll see it will automatically recall whatever I had populated in the active routing grid when I relaunch it. I can even go further by modifying that routing by adding some malts and additional selections, not saving or overwriting the routing, closing Patch App DX, and upon launch, you'll see these changes have taken effect and are shown in the active routing. Just note, that this option will override the default launch routing option if you have one set up in your stored routings menu. And finally, the fourth feature is auto hardware backup. This actually happens in the background. What it means is each and every time you launch your Patch App DX software, you'll automatically get a backup of your hardware index saved behind the scenes in a separate folder. 
This feature isn't as flashy as the others, but it is a necessary safety feature to back up your hardware index in case you need to go back to a previous hardware index setup. Basically, I'm going to show you where to go so you can find the last five backups of your hardware index. You can quickly find it by opening your stored routings menu, choosing Open Routings Folder, and then navigating to Hardwares and Hardware Backups. If I wanted to choose a backup, I can easily just copy and paste it onto my desktop, close that menu, open the hardware index, and import it back into my hardware setup menu. It's just that simple. And there you have it, four new features that push the boundaries further than ever before with massive workflow enhancements. We hope you enjoy this new update, and as always, thank you for choosing Flock Audio.